Hi folks, welcome to Testing Hacks tutorial. Today we will see what is Software Testing Life Cycle, which is also known as STLC in short. So before going to STLC, we will see what is Software Testing. Software Testing is a process of executing the application with the intent of finding the defects by comparing the output behavior of the application with the expected behavior. Right. So that is known as software testing. So software testing life cycle is nothing but it is a sequence of different activities performed during the software testing process. Okay. STLC start as soon as the requirement are defined or the requirement um, document is shared by the stakeholders. Okay, this is actually a step-by-step -step process to ensure the quality of software. And also, as soon as the development phase is over, the testing team is ready with the test cases and they start execution. So, this helps in finding the bugs in the early phase. So, we have six different phases in software testing life cycle. We will see one by one. The very first one is requirement analysis. And next is test planning and test case design, environment setup, test execution and finally test cycle closure. So we will go through each of them. The very first phase is requirement analysis. So we will see what is requirement analysis. The given requirement will be analyzed by the QA team. The QA team asks their question or doubts to the business analyst and gets the confirmation. Before starting the actual process, QA team makes sure the requirement is clear for them. Requirement can be functional or non-functional. So in this phase, the very first thing what the QA does is they will analyze the requirement line by line and try to understand what has been specified. If they get any doubts from the user story, they will communicate or talk with the stakeholders or else the business analyst and get the confirmation and then they proceed. This is about the requirement analysis. And the next phase is test planning. So in this test planning phase, the preparation of the document will be done, which is the test plan document or the strategy document, uh, which consists of various types of testing. Okay. And also it consists of the specification of the test tool, which test tool has been selected. Also the test effort estimation, how many hours the effort is required. So all this specification will be written in this test plan document. Resource planning and determining the roles and responsibilities. And also finally the environment selection. So which environment has been chosen for the testing? All the details will be specified in the test plan including the unit testing environment, all the environment details will be specified in the test plan document. Basically, it is a document which consists of the whole strategy of the project. Okay. And the next phase is test case design. So in this third phase, what happens? The testers will start preparing the test cases and in between the automation team will start writing the automation scripts. Okay. Review and baseline test cases and scripts. All the review will be done in this phase. Whatever the test cases that has been written will be reviewed by the seniors or from the business analyst and also create test data. If there is any specific data that can be created, that creation can be done in this phase. Okay. And the fourth phase goes to environment setup. So in this environment setup, the environment will be set up for 
testing where the testers will test the application. All the required hardware and software setup will be done in this phase. Smoke testing will be done to ensure the required setup is in place. So basically what happens here, there could be several different environments that has been set up. Say if you are doing a SIT testing, you, you might be having the different set of environment saying that SIT1, SIT2, SIT3. So suppose in this particular uh, release, you are testing the application in SIT1. So the code will be deployed to SIT1 and the smoke testing will be done there to, to check all the requirements whichever has been tested, needs to be tested are in place. Okay including the hardware setup or else the software uh, setup and also the database. All this will be considered in this phase. And the next phase is the test execution, which is actually the main phase for the uh, testers, right? So in this particular phase, execute tests as per the plan. Whatever the test cases that has been written as per that plan, the test execution will go on. Document results and log defects for failed test cases. Map defects to test cases in RTM. And retest the defect fixes. Track the defects to the closure. In this phase, what actually happens is, suppose say we have written the test cases as per the analyzed requirement, correct? So once that is done, you will start executing the uh, cases whatever you have written we will go through the test case document in one of the session okay by the time just understand that the test case is a document where all your scenarios will be put up and through uh, each of the uh, uh, test cases you will start executing and finally if you find any defects you will log those defects and you will work with the developer and getting it fixed and once the fix is done, you will retest it and then the closure will be done. And we have separate defect life cycle for that. We will also see the defect life cycle in the coming session. And the very final stage is test case closure. So on this phase, what happens? We will close all the testing uh, activities. Prepare uh, uh, what ha actually is prepare test closure report and also evaluate cycle completion criteria based on time, test coverage, cost, software, um, as well as the critical business objectives and quality. Prepare test metrics based on the above parameters. Qualitative and quantitative reporting of quality of work product to the customer. Okay. So finally, this is the final stage. We have already tested the application and we have to give the closure. We have to give the sign off. It can also include the closure of the subtasks. Okay. You might have to close the task, whatever you have uh, done and also all the metrics, how many test cases you have covered, how many test cases got passed, how many defects were found, all those will be reported. All those will be documented and then it will be reported. So this is the final stage. So this is about the STLC, Software Testing Lifecycle. If you have any questions or doubts, please do comment it out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Keep supporting us. Do like the video, share it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.